Hello everyone, welcome back to Show Show Chinese. Show Show Chinese. I'm Shuo, your Chinese native speaking teacher living in Bangkok, Thailand. Today we're going to talk about measure words. 量子. 我知道量子是你屁股上的一个痛. <laughs> 我是说量子总是让你很头疼. But I also know your secret. That most of the time you just use ge to replace any other measure words. Am I right? And this is perfectly fine. Because native speakers also do that. But sometimes it will be a little bit weird if you use ge and not the proper measure word. 你好，我想买一个咖啡。我有一个钱。啊，麻烦您写一下，您要喝什么咖啡？哦，嗯，那请你给我一个纸，一个笔。这个歌是我最喜欢的歌。Don't worry, this won't happen to you if you finish watching today's video. And also, at the end of this video, I will tell you a quick trick to tell by yourself which words can be used with ge and which words cannot. 话不多说，我们现在就开始吧。一首歌，一支笔，一张纸。一张钞票，一笔钱，一杯水，一瓶水，一瓶香水，一朵花。一束花，一盆花，一本书，一盏台灯，一个台灯，一个枕头，一个猴子，一只猴子。一条狗，一条狗，一只猫，一卷纸，一双鞋，一双袜子，一条裙子。一条裤子，一件衣服. Thank you for watching until here. But of course, I cannot include all the words that cannot be used with "ge" as a measure word in one video. So I will tell you a quick trick to tell which word can be used with "ge" and which words cannot by yourself. Let me get to my laptop. Let's take a word as an example. 桌子 Desk, table. The proper measure word is 张, 一张桌子. But it's perfectly fine if you say 一个桌子. If you're not sure, you can type 一个桌子 in pinyin without typing the space key. And if the input method gives you a complete phrase, then 99%. That it's okay to say 一个 something like 一个桌子. And I just mentioned that a song is 一首歌 rather than 一个歌. So let's type 一个歌. See, there's no suggestion as 一个歌. And if this kind of situation happens, and you want to know, hmm, if I cannot use 歌, what is the proper measure word? You can just Google, for example, 歌的量子, or in English, the measure word of 歌. And voila, here it is, 一首歌. 
Let's try another one. 车 which means car. You may know that we normally say 一辆车, but is 一个车 acceptable? Let's try. 一个车. Here it is. So in some casual situations, it is perfectly fine to use 个 as the match word of 车. For example, 哎, 那个车是你的吗? Alright, so this is all the content of today's video. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out the great chance to improve your Chinese. I'm sure from 说说中文, I will see you in my next video. 再见!